Let's take a glance back to Friday with a look at some of your numbers on Wall Street. Some green on the board. Dow was up 186 points back in the 20,000 market range. Nasdaq was up 30 and the S&P up 16. Hillary Vaughn is going to join us with some business stories now. So Twitter and Airbnb and some others are deciding that they kind of want to take on the administration on the on the immigration rules. What's going on here? Yeah, 97 companies in total, Ron, filing a brief in San Francisco's Court of Appeals um, trying to stop Trump's immigration ban. And uh, they're doing this because they say it's bad for their business and bad for their employees. Uber set up a $3 million legal defense fund hoping to provide legal options for any drivers uh, that are affected by this. Uh, they also are trying to make some changes and asking him to basically remove or stop the ban entirely. And but what's interesting is there's a lot of tech companies that are filing these briefs, but Tesla CEO Elon Musk is actually working with Trump and trying to address the issue. He was one of the people that had chose to attend the meeting at the White House on Friday, and he said that he made sure discussing the travel ban was on the agenda and was the first thing that they discussed, and he said he's trying to work with Trump to make these changes, but a lot of these companies teaming up against the president. You know, I guess if you had to pick one um, super high-scale store in the U.S., it could be Tiffany. I mean, remember Donald Trump once early on in the campaign said, I have a Tiffany store in New York that's worth more than Mitt Romney. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite quotes on the whole campaign. Anyway, I guess there was some drama with, the, with Tiffany just before, literally in the hours before they're about to roll out their Super Bowl ad. Yeah, this is the first time they've had an ad that debuted during the Super Bowl. It featured their new brand ambassador, Lady Gaga, and uh, they kicked out their CEO just before, the day before, because they were disappointed with sales under his leadership. They've struggled, did not have a good holiday season, and stock prices actually dropped 6% under his leadership. So. They're trying to switch things up, hoping to revitalize their brand, and they also hope that bringing Lady Gaga onto the team will actually open up their consumer base to younger shoppers. Wow, interesting stuff. All right, so we'll see how that... Lately, the way the stock market's been booming and your stock is dropping, I guess that probably would cause some heartburn in the, uh, <laughs> in the boardroom. All right, Hillary, thanks, and talk to you tomorrow.